Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Leg Robotics. Today's video, I want to take the Spike Prime robot and show you how you can program it to detect colors and when it detects those colors, make a turn. So if you want to see that, stay with me. Hino Lego Robotics. All right guys, so today's video, I'm gonna take the Spike Prime robot with this color sensor and I'm going to show you a really easy program you can do on the Spike Prime app or the software where it can detect colors and make turns. All right, guys, the task is simple. I'm going to start the robot right here on this green square. It's going to detect yellow and make a right turn. Detect this blue square and make another right turn. Come over here to this purple rectangle, make another right turn. And I programmed it to sense green and stop right there. So let's go ahead and check it out. So let's go to the software. Okay, guys, I'm on my Spike Prime software here or Spike Prime app. And let me go ahead and get this started for you. All right, we have our when program starts. And we're going to be going to the pink. And we're going to be dragging out three pink blocks, our motor blocks here. So we're going to set the movement motors to C and A. We're going to set the speed to 30%. I don't want to go faster than that because if I do, um, the color sensor will sometimes not register the color fast enough. So I just want to make sure that I set it slow enough that I give the color sensor a chance to see the color. And I'm going to have my uh, motors start moving just forward. So um, it's gonna just go forward and you can see right below it. I'm gonna go to my events block here and I'm just gonna wait until. So I have my color sensor plugged into port D and I'm gonna have it just keep moving forward. It's gonna wait until it sees the yellow. And if it sees yellow, I have my uh, C motor set to turn at 20% speed and I'm going to have it turn for 280 degrees. That should be a perfect 90 degree turn for me. And then um, you can notice that those pink blocks are exactly the same. I want it to go forward towards the next um, square which is going to be blue. So you can see all my pink blocks are the same as the ones above. And now I've set it for blue. So my wait block is in the same port D, waiting to see blue. And then, um, if you notice, though, that turn is exactly the same. That C motor turned for 20%, and it's set for that 280 degrees. Okay, so now I just broke the program up into two sections. I didn't want it to have to be so small that you couldn't see it. So here are the last two um, colors here. So the same three pink blocks are exactly the same. My weight block is exactly the same, but I have set it for purple. My turn is exactly the same, 20% for 280 degrees. My pink blocks are exactly the same. And the only thing I changed was that my weight, my last weight block is set for that green and I just wanted it to stop moving when it gets to the very end and that's it that's the program to recognize colors and then I've just set my motors to do the actions once it sees those colors okay everybody so we have it programmed let's go ahead and get that robot on the table let's watch it in action guys so that was it the spike prime color sensing program and you can use that weight block just like you do the ev3 i had to learn this because i always did the ev3 weight block but that's how you use it so it can detect colors and then do actions from those colors so 
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new, I'm Mr. Hino. I do everything robotics, EV3, and now Spike Prime. So if you hit that subscribe button and that bell, so every time I upload a video concerning robots, you will get that notification. Thank you so much for watching. I am Mr. Hino with Missiles Lego Robotics. I am out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.